my gosh, we are cooking up a storm. We're starting off a big weekend with, of course, Chef Curtis Stone. Hi, I'm Suzanne. We're having a ball, and we're not done yet. We still have lots more surprises coming up in this hour, and let me give you a little heads up. The last time Chef offered these two pans, that amazing Dura surface that's so durable, it lasts so long, you can use metal utensils on it. The last time he did these two pans was back in May. Now, we launched it in one show. We sold 3,000 in three minutes. If you blinked, you missed it. We gave you a peek at it last hour, just a little peek. We haven't even presented it yet. And we started out with 5,000. You can see the counter on your screen right now, Chef. So this could be a very quick little presentation. <laughs> right now, we have only a little over 3,000 left. And here is your second look ever. Same brilliant nonstick that everybody loves in durable, beautiful bakeware pans. Yay, they're back. They're back. So <laughs> this is, like you mentioned, DuraPan. It's the, non it's the nonstick surface, five layers of nonstick. We've done it to bakeware. So this is a traditional cookie sheet, right? Um, thin, a little flimsy. It will buckle in the oven. But here's what I can't stand, because these are little Parmesan twirls that I'm trying to do. And, okay, well, that one came off all right. Let's try this one. Look, see how things are sticking? Let me show you the difference when you use DuraPan. <laughs> Nothing Isn't sticks to this pan. So, you know, the only way that you're ever going to damage your Parmesan twill is if you break it when you're trying to pick it up. But if you're nice and gentle, nothing's going to stick, right? So, Crazy. you know, coming into this, that with the DuraPan technology, it's going to be the best bakeware you've ever seen. Imagine what you can do, because over here, I've thrown a whole pork fillet with some bok choy and some spring onions and stuff. Of course, I cook the pork first, but then dinner becomes this simple. You come over, you pop you, your pork on the, on the tray, you throw your veggies around, and you do it like these, these uh, one-sheet dinners have become really quite popular, and for good reason, because they're so simple to prepare. You literally get dinner baked in the oven all on the one tray, and when you know that the cleanup is like the cleanup's going to be with the Dura Bake, check this out. So get a close-up on this pan, because that had a sticky sort of soy marinade on it. Well, look. <laughs> you're going to wipe it clean and you've got a perfectly spotless bakeware uh, uh, piece again. You know, so even caramel popcorn. You know how sticky caramel is? I literally poured the caramel over the popcorn here and now look at it. So you're just going <laughs> to pull it apart and the caramel literally oh just gosh. lifts off in it's big like, sheets. You know, isn't so that insane? There's nothing you can do that's going to stick anything to this to this bakeware, which is what's so, so cool about it. You know, it's so important too. Every, we work so hard and we're going to bake cookies. We're going to make something really special for someone special. Right. And then the minute you try to pick it out of the pan, it's either not cooked evenly or it falls apart right. simply because it's stuck. Well, imagine doing a frittata and being able to just know idea. that you can pour this in. By the way, we didn't even put any butter or oil, oh and you just gosh. go ahead and look at it. So, you know, I can I know that it's not only going to lift up, but it's just going to lift up with absolute ease yeah. the entire thing. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Look, you see the steam rolling still, up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still really nice still hot. hot. But, I, you know, you just know that it's guaranteed to be non-stick. So I'm going to come all the way back down here. Oh, now again. we're talking. Right, so this is meringue. So I've just thrown meringue directly on. And again, you can just lift <laughs> them up. But if you wanted to, you can pick them up like that. So these are kind of like mini pavlovas, I guess. Those Little Aussie, cool. Aussie kind of pavlovas. The simplest things in the world. That's egg whites and sugar. That's it. Wow. And then you come over here with uh, a little bit of whipped cream on each one. And then you finish that off with some beautiful berries. And you've just done dessert for six people in literally seconds with a hundred percent guarantee that it's going to work the way you want it to. All right, Chef Cindy's been waiting. We're going to say hi to her. She picked hey, up the today's special. Hi, Cindy. You're on with Curtis Stone. Welcome. How are you? There she is. Hi. <laughs> hi, Cindy. I just wanted to tell you how excited I am. I just ordered the Dura Pan. Yeah, good. I love the trivet. That trivet, I put it on my sink and it extends my counter space. Wow. That's a great idea. I have, you know, like I don't have very much counter space, but that makes my counter space bigger. That's true. Yeah, I love you for it. It's such a good idea because you can stick... It's so big. Here, I've got one right here, so I'm going to show it to you. It's so big that you can pop that over your entire sink. Is that what you're saying, Cindy? You pop that over the sink and then you can put a cutting board or something on yeah. and you get a bit more counter space. Right, right. That's, that's amazing. Really, really yeah, that's clever. very smart. Really, really clever. <laughs> and, uh. Cindy, can I ask you a question? Um, is it your first time trying the Dura Diamond Surface? 
Yes, it's going to be the first time trying this. Oh, I've got well, a lot of this other stuff, but not the cans. Little no. heads up, you'll be back for a lot more once yes, you experience Cindy, it. Yeah. You're about to become hooked on something, my darling. <laughs> and that's the reason that this brand has been so successful, because so many people have got, got it in their hands and then given it away and shared it with other people. And, you know, you hear the calls all night long. People are getting it and loving it and then sharing it. And, Cindy, I'm so glad you're a new member of the club. I can't wait to get, to get it and start using it. Enjoy, oh, Cindy. Good. Thank Enjoy, you. Enjoy, Cindy. It was great Thank chatting. You. And we'd love to hear from you, too. This is such a rare opportunity to be able to directly talk to Chef. You've seen him on many yeah. TV shows. And it's great to have him here with great, brilliant products. I like we're using the word brilliant. hope somebody's playing a drinking game with that word tonight. <laughs> I've said it about 100 times, but it's true. It's smart, smart items for your kitchen. I have to give you a quick update. We're under 3,000 left in the two-piece bakeware set. Wow. This is its only airing of the entire day. We don't have enough to air it later. I mean, this is it. And you can see exactly how many we have left on the screen. Why do you want these? Because we all need bakeware. We all like to bake. And you usually have those old pans. How bad are your pans? Are they warped? Do they bend? Do things slide around? Are they not sturdy? Are they awful to clean up? Or are they really just ruined over years of using them? You'll find in Chef, you know what you didn't really talk about? It's just you can really how feel sturdy they are. how sturdy these, these are. And they're a set of two. First time ever they're on five flex pans. We've never done that before. And the only other time Chef had these on the air was in May. Thank you, love. It was in May. 3,000 sold out in three minutes in the launch. And this is only the second time we've made them available. So it's a perfect time to get them tonight before uh, they're gone. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there and your bakeware looks like this. Okay, <laughs> exactly. I know, I get it, right? It's burnt on, it's, it's very flimsy, so it warps, it doesn't cook evenly, and then things stick. So when you come to see how that little bit of the cookie sticks in the center, yep. um, and sometimes they burn, sometimes they stick, you end up with a mess where when you cook in the Durabake, this is what you end up with. I just lifted them off off the pan and it's just so easy even something as robust as a roast chicken so check this out I've got my roast chicken here it's been out of the oven for a couple of minutes but not too long um, so it's still nice and hot I'm gonna go ahead and get those delicious crispy potatoes and again I put no oil in here this is just the natural um, fat that gets sort of released from the the chicken as it roasts so removing those potatoes but have a look at the cleanup on this you guys because what I'm gonna do is just get a towel. So of course, you can throw it in the dishwasher if you want to, but look, like with the exception of that little bit of oil, there's nothing left because you just, and that was a roast chicken. When was the last time you roasted a chicken and you could clean the pan by giving it a real quick wipe up? It's, it's impossible. Hey chef, also just so you should understand, it takes months and months for chef to be able to go back, get more of these made and bring them back to us. So right. really think about the holiday cooking season. You know, before you know it, it's gonna be Halloween and Thanksgiving, right. we were really doing a lot of baking. Yeah. If you love someone who, if you know someone who loves to bake, I am telling you, they will be so thrilled to get these two pans. There's and also, Chef, this is important. There's nothing else out there like this. Right. You cannot get Chef's cookware or his pans or any of his appliances anywhere else but here at HSN. He has the number one best reviewed products across all brands at HSN. Not just the cooking world, okay? All of our brands. That is something that's so remarkable and you did it in a couple of years. It's been really a fun ride, you guys, and you're a big part of the journey because you've been telling us what you want and we actually got this idea as well. Curtis, why don't you do bakeware out of Durapan? And we're like, oh, uh, yeah, we should do bakeware out of Durapan because right. we've developed this incredible surface. We all want to be able to bake. Have a look at these nachos. This is a full tray of nachos. It's just come out of the oven. So I'm going to probably burn my fingers, but I don't care. I want you to see it. Because when was the last time your nachos... Jeez, let me just stick. pick these up. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let me get the do bear claws, special? which is another great product that we've, we've got for you guys. But what, what's, a, what's a nacho pan normally look like? by the time you get to the end of the nachos and you have to do the cleanup, It's a disaster, right? Yeah. Well, this is all just lifting off. Like you see me burning Parmesan in the pans, the same deal with the, with the, with the Durabake. If I just go ahead and push all of those crumbs down to one side, and now let's give it a wipe. Isn't that wild? Have a look at that. It's spotless. And that just baked all those nachos in the oven 
and look at how it comes clean. Okay. It's really something else. So, you know, think about the entertaining, yes, but also think about your cleanup because if your cleanup becomes a breeze, then you really start having fun at your own parties. And you mentioned something earlier that's so prevalent. Go on Pinterest and you'll see what's called one pan meals. It's a really hot trend. Everybody's taking one pan to finish the whole meal, but you don't want to use a rickety old bakeware pan that's flimsy. Right. You want something that's going to be able to hold a big roast or hold a, a chicken or hold a hen or hold a, a, a duck or even hold a turkey for that matter. I mean, you could actually put a whole turkey on Oh, there. you sure can. I mean, and look, over here we've got this uh, incredible um, tray of sticky buns. So we've all made those before, but have a look at this. Again, these sticky <laughs> caramel fantastic things, right. okay? I don't have anywhere Wait, to you put wanna, them, you, you. Hold on. Oh, here's a plate. Yeah, here's a plate. <laughs> I get so excited demonstrating this stuff that I start, We're just running you know, out of room. I start talking 100 miles an hour and I just have way too much fun. But check out these sticky buns and then more importantly, see they stick to one another, but more importantly, check out the pan Look at that underneath. That's caramel, you guys, and all I'm going to have to do to clean that is wipe it out. And Chef, how often will we avoid making that? Maybe it's your favorite recipe or you want to make it when the family comes to visit this summer and you won't do it because you hate the idea of cleaning up that pan right. afterwards. You can't be bothered soaking it and right. dealing with all of the hassle that comes with it. But guess what? You don't have to anymore because once you've put all of your sticky buns on a plate... And it holds a lot of sticky buns. Hand, <laughs> it holds a lot of sticky <laughs> buns, as you can see. Then you're just going to pick up your pan quite frankly, because you don't want to waste that deliciousness, and give it a real <laughs> quick push down. And look how it's sliding off. Other, other, and that caramel's gotten a little cooler. It's not right, super that's, hot. That's not hot. And uh, do you notice how little. it's slipping off like an ice rink? I mean, that's how incredible this is. All right, here's a quick update. With everyone now on the phone lines, we have less than, what are you showing right now? We've got 1,800. Okay, we have 600 on the phone lines, which you can't see. I have 1,800 mm. left. This is the only airing of oh, the yeah. entire visit. And I just want to remind you, it's a set of two. It was on in May. 3,000 sold out in three minutes. They blinked and it was gone because he just launched it. First time back, so this is a very unique opportunity. Everybody can use these. They make excellent gift ideas. Maybe you give one, keep one. I promise, just like the cookware, this, again, customer pick, and I think you'll love it as well. All right, Nancy in North Dakota. Oh, you're on Nancy. with Chef Curtis Stone. Welcome. How are you? Hi, how are you guys? Oh, we're having we're fun good. tonight, Nancy. We're cooking up a storm, my darling. I am like... I got a lot of your cookware, and it's fantastic. No, I wouldn't have anything else. Thank you, I think Nancy. when you were on in May, I think my garage is full of it for <laughs> anniversaries and Christmas gifts and weddings okay. and everything. It's just fantastic. I really love your cookware. Nancy, I have a thank question you. for you, please. Oh, yes. I have your cookie sheets. It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good. But I'm from North Dakota, yep. and we do a lot of bacon, okay. like um, casseroles and brownies and mm. cakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Could you, or do you have, or have you ever thought about doing a 9 by 13? Do you know what? I, I love the idea. You're talking about the rectangle that you would do, like a, a, a pie or something, like a, uh, like a sheet cake or something in, right? Right, a 9 by 13. So like, a little deeper? Um, if you're... You have a layer yeah, cake. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a great idea. Rochelle and I were talking about it just this morning, and we're like, what about muffin tins? What about, oh, right. you know, different <laughs> shapes and different sizes and de different depths? And I think it's a wonderful idea, Nancy. And we don't make it just yet. We're brand new in this. We wanted to make sure we got the quality perfect before we brought anything out. Um, and now we're just, we're going to go to town because we can see people absolutely love this. So we we'll be bringing you a lot more. You just wait. Yes, I, I really enjoy your pans. They're great. Awesome. Well, Nancy, thank, thank you, you for Nancy. joining us tonight. It was great chatting. Thank you, darling. All right, by the Happy way, fall, and it's it's the Dura coating all the way around the pan. Check so it's out. not like it's just on the top and then the bottom's oh. going to get all rough. It's all the way around. Look at your mac and look cheese. At this. Imagine doing mac and cheese oh, for hello. a big group and that have a look how it just comes up out of the uh, out of the. All right, uh, chef, pan. we got to wrap it up because we got to get back to our today's special.